Yo, what is good, YouTube? We're back with another No Money Spent My Team video, man. And this video is basically going to be similar to one that I made pretty recently with the uh, Diamond Exchange Shoe Boost. That's a mouthful um, video. And basically just seeing, you know, what we can do in the token market to turn our tokens into MT. Now, this is something that is going to be very useful for a lot of the no money spent guys in the community, because I feel like a lot of people sleep on this method to turn your tokens into MT. And as you guys can see, I have 979 tokens right now. So, I mean, I'm in a pretty good position to turn a lot of my tokens into MT. I'm not going to do all of them because I am saving up my tokens for the next Galaxy Opal that's probably going to come out next season. Um, if I just had to take a guess, Galaxy Opal token player will probably come out next season. I will definitely be getting that, but don't want to spend too much on it because, uh, you know, we got to, we got to, you know, save up our tokens for the Galaxy Opal. But in this video, we're basically just going to be buying the silver badge packs. Now, the thing about it is silver badges are very hit or miss. Keep in mind, these badges are very hit or miss. So if you guys, you know, if I have crazy luck in this video and I get a lot of good badges out of this and you guys don't, don't blame it on me. Blame the RNG that 2K makes. Don't blame me. Don't shoot the messenger. You feel me? But other than that, um, before we hop into it, make sure you guys hit the like button if you enjoy this type of content. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. I'm on the road to 500. I said 500K earlier, but I mean 500 subs so i can't do that without you guys hitting the sub button and if you guys could do that it's greatly appreciated so let's go ahead and hop straight into it i am going to do 20 packs so let's go ahead and hop into pack number one let's see if we can get some good badges out of here let's see if we can get some good luck on the first one i have no idea if that badge is any good i'm not gonna lie i have no idea if that badge goes for anything but um, we did get a floor general in that first one. So, I mean, not too, too bad. Um, not too, too bad. So two floor generals. Very strange that we got, you know, out of all the badges in the game, we did get two back-to-back -back floor generals. That's pretty odd. But um, who knows? Maybe silver floor general goes for a lot. I think lucky number seven goes for a decent amount. Um, just simply because of the fact of the uh, clutch time mode, which applies to basically half of the game because it's only 14 seconds shot clock. So in the first seven seconds, that badge applies. So pretty much for half of the game, that badge is useful. So I think it goes up. Uh, Silver mismatch expert is probably a good badge as well. So what? That's what? Two floor generals, a mismatch expert. And what was the other badge that I got? Uh, lucky number seven. So that's four packs. So let's go ahead and hop into the fifth one. Just trying to make sure I don't lose track of how many packs I do open up. Uh, Silver Tyler's Defender. Don't really know much about that badge. If that's really worth anything, um, I have no idea. Again, I have no idea. So let's go ahead and see. I, oh yes, that W. Silver Limitless Spot Up is exactly the type of badge we look for in doing this and turning your tokens into MT. So that was the fifth pack right there. Um, w fifth pack, I cannot lie silver limitless spot up is a perfect badge because i know for a fact that that badge goes for a decent amount silver sni oh my god that is crazy silver sniper i know for a fact definitely goes for a decent amount as well we are on a little bit of a run that has kind of been you know a constant thing in the videos lately but uh, let's see defensive leader don't really know if that one goes or anything but i do know shooting badges clamps chase down artists things like that are going to go for a decent amount so what this is the eighth pack i believe um silver difficult shots um don't really think that's gonna go for anything and on the bright side when it comes to all of this is that these packs are only worth three tokens so even if you don't have that many tokens you can you know make a decent amount of mt off of this giant slayer don't really think that goes for anything so that is 10 i think 10 packs nine packs 10 packs i think that's 10 packs i think this is the 10th one right here mouse in the house i'm almost positive that one doesn't go for anything so we are halfway through right now um you know we did get some pretty good badges so far so hopefully the second half can treat us pretty well i do know at least at the beginning of the game rebound chaser went for a decent amount i don't know if it still does um hopefully it does you know so we can make more mt off of it and things of that nature but 
uh that was the 11th pack this is the 12th pack got another difficult shot so that's two difficult shots just want to keep keep it pushing hopefully we can get you know some more good luck silver diamond is probably pretty solid as well that was the 13th here is the 14th pack right here um just hoping that we can get good badges ball stripper ball stripper is a very slept on badge in my opinion um definitely helps with the paint mashing and everything like that 15 packs down five more to go hopefully we can get something good drop stepper um don't really think that goes for much if we're being 100 percent honest i do not think drop stepper goes for anything because people don't really play in the post like that um pogo stick it's a good badge i don't know if people appreciate it as much in my team as they do in my career you know on the park and in pro am and things like that uh, so this is going to be tight handles i do know tight handles probably goes for a decent amount as well so i think we got about two more packs left so including this one so let's go ahead and see uh slithery finisher don't really think that goes for much uh, people don't really use a dunk meter i feel like that's the only time it's pretty like useful and things like that um so let's go ahead and see last pack silver bailout i i hate bailout i ain't gonna lie i hate that badge as a whole i'm not gonna lie to y'all but you know just to hit the road just for the road let's see if we can get something good out of alter ego pack i'm just i just want to see you know what i'm saying i got a decent amount of tokens so i might as well see if i can get an alter ego player uh, amethyst isn't too bad but i was hoping i could get a pink diamond you know if i could just pull like a Dolph shades or like a um what's it called Did they just give me luca i didn't i would have thought it would have been an alter ego player that's crazy i'm not gonna lie that's that that's that's just crazy i am not gonna hold y'all that is crazy i'm just gonna quick sell him um would have thought i would have got something even better out of there but let's go ahead and hop over to the badges just to see if you know the silver badges that we did get were worth it so we did get mismatch expert i don't know if mismatch expert it does look like it's going for a decent amount keep in mind i am recording this video pretty late um so the mt you know prices might fluctuate and stuff like that so i'm just gonna say that this mismatch expert will probably sell for about three thousand so we basically turned three tokens into three thousand mt so a thousand mt per token from one badge pack I think that's pretty much worth it it's pretty much a w so i know we got a mouse in the house i don't think that really goes for anything um but i'll just add everything up so like if i sell this for about 500 that's 3500 mt right there right so we did get a lucky number seven i know that for a fact we got one of those so we're sitting at 3500 but if we sell this lucky number seven it looks like somebody was price fixed and i ain't gonna lie lucky number seven actually doesn't go for that much so i'm just gonna say that's worth 500 as well so 4,000 so far limitless spot up is definitely a great one that we pulled it is a great great badge um if i had to take a guess it's probably going for you know a lot right now and that's exactly what it's doing right now so i'm gonna say that's about 10,000. um so totaling up for four badges it's 14,000 mt four badges 14,000 mt just keep that in mind just keep that in mind 14,000 mt off of four badge packs it's pretty crazy if you ask me ball stripper probably can sell for about 500 as well maybe 750 i'll just say 500 to keep it around so about 1450 right there tyler's defender it looks like another badge probably about 500 so 15,000 mt uh we did get a pogo stick um i don't think this really goes for that much as well uh, but just keep in mind 500 mt for that as well i would say um you know 15 5 15, mt defensive leader looks like it's about a thousand so we can say what 16,500. i can say that i'll save that 16,000 tight handles i would have thought this badge was a little bit more expensive but gonna say that's about another 500 so that's 17,000 floor general i know we got one of those um so just gonna say this about a thousand as well so that's what 17k 18k i don't lost count i ain't gonna lie i lost count um i'm pretty sure about 17k i'll just go on the lower side 17k uh 17 5 uh with the bailout that we did get sniper is another great great badge for us to get uh looks like another about 11k so say what 28 29 000. uh looks like no about 8 000 mt so maybe 
maybe about 25k all right 25k 25k is not a bad one i know we got a slithery finisher as well just gonna say that one's about 500 don't want to keep you know reiterating that uh so what 25 5 not bad not bad not bad i think that's a pretty good haul so far uh you know just once we sell off all these badges and stuff we can say this rebound chase is about uh 3000 so about 30k about 30k so we turned you know what 60 th 60 tokens into 30k pretty good ratio i ain't gonna lie pretty good ratio so i'll say this one's about 70 uh 750 750 750 so what that's about 30k and then we can say this one's about oh, 500 so we could say about 31k um and i think that's it i think i got a dimer as well uh and we can say this one's about so let's say it's about 500 so i think in total that basically brings the total to about 32 ish k from 60,000 or 60 tokens so let me just do the math on my phone real quick. I don't know that off the top of my head. If I had to just say 32.5 divided by 60, basically means we made about 541 MT per token. So uh, just keep that in mind. That ratio is gonna change, you know, varying depending on what badges you pull, what badges you don't pull, if you get lucky or not. So, I mean, I, that's pretty solid to me, turning, you know, 60 tokens into, 30,000 MT and I think that could help out a lot of you guys in the community if you guys are looking for a way to you know if you have a lot of tokens just sitting there that you don't know what to do with try that just try and see do do about 20 packs like me see what you get see if you end up getting lucky you might get even more lucky than me and get like three snipers and like two limitless spot ups you know things like that but that's gonna do it for the video I hope I, I wish I got a clamps but you know it is what it is beggars can't be choosers I do think that was a pretty good haul for that. So just wanted to do another type of experiment type of video. Hopefully you guys do enjoy that. If you guys do, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new and all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Other than that, catch y'all the next one. Peace.